This theorem is the chord arcs theorem. If two chords in a circle are congruent, then their intercepted arcs are also congruent. This is a similar illustration as in the previous video, but since our focus now is on arc, we need to show that from the given, when chord AB and CD, chords of the circle O, are congruent to one another, you need to show that the intercepted arcs, arc AB, that's the intercepted arc of chord AB, and arc CD, which is the intercepted arc of chord CD, are congruent to one another. So we have here two column proof for this, as we need to establish this before we can use this on our actual classes. The first part of the proof is always placing what is the given. So we can state here that uh, segment AB and segment CD are chords of circle O, where they are congruent to one another. Okay, now with this, this is actually the reason for this is obviously that is what is given here. The next part of this proof will actually be construction as we construct, okay, radii OA as the center of the circle is O to the point A, OB, OC, and segment OD. This is by construction. Why do we need to construct this? Even if we're just showing them uh, the relationship on the arcs. Because we will be using here the concept made in the previous video on the chord central angles theorem. Once we construct this, we have the same illustration as the previous video pertaining on coming up with triangles here. And we're going to use this relationship as we look into the relationship of the intercepted arcs later. Next part of this proof is showing what happened here on our figure since we have established this. We have created two angles here, but we call this specifically central angles. So we have angle A, O, B, and angle C, O, D, are central angles, okay, of circle O. Now you may want, uh, you may just leave that there, but obviously that's circle O. The reason for this is the definition definition of central angles since we have established that this sides the sides of angle aob being segment oa and ob are a die of the same circle o this is also true with the sides of angle cod being oc and od are also a die so we have fit to the idea of central angles here now we don't need to show the proof for the congruence of these two triangles which is needed in proving this theorem because we have established already the previous uh, the proof of the previous video we can now of course safe to assume that angle the two central angles a o b is congruent to angle c o d this is because of the previous proof on the chord central angles theorem you might want to review that you may visit the this playlist to view the proof for this because we don't need to show uh, the proof of the, the previous video using triangle congruence and then cpctc but this time since it's already proven let's integrate that here because the main focus here is on the arcs now from this since we are talking about congruent angles and we're going to move into congruent arcs we actually need to pass through the idea of measurements because later on measurements or that point of measurements is what we'll be using as we go forward. Once they are congruent, therefore the measurement of angle AOB is just equal to the measurement of angle COD. This is per definition of congruent angles. If two angles are congruent, 
then they have the same measurements. Why do we need to pass this? Because there is an important statement here, an important reason, part of this proof, which could tell us that the measurement of angle AOB is just equal to the measurement of arc AB. The measurement of angle AOB is just equal to the measurement of arc AB here. This is also true for the measurement of angle COD, this angle, is equal to the measurement of arc CD. This is actually important on the definition of the measurements of intercepted arcs. Okay, I'm going to explain why do we need to pass through measurements and why not stick with just angles later. So again, measurement of intercepted arcs of central angles. This because this reason uses the point of measurement. It doesn't use congruence. If this definition uses congruence, then we don't need this. But since this definition on the measurement of intercepted arcs, which tell us that the measurement of intercepted arc, I mean the central angle, is just equal to the measurement of intercepted arc and vice versa. That's why we need to transfer from congruence to measurement. Okay? Just inserting that. Of course, for some who are already familiar with this proof, might not reach, uh, might not go with this. I automatically proceed to the next step I'm, I'll be placing later. But since this definition talks about measurement, not congruence, we have established this. Next, the out of our goal on R7, integrating 5 and 6. Since the measurement of angle AOB is just equal to the measurement of angle COD, and here are the representations, then we can say that the measurement of arc AB, which is the measurement of angle AOB, is equal to the measurement of arc CD, which is the measurement of arc C, uh, COD, integrating 5 and 6. And of course, this is by substitution property. Since we have equalities here, we just simply substituted their equality, uh, their equivalent components. So this is equal to that. So substitute this is equal to this and substitute. Now that we have the equality of measurements and our goal is on arcs, this now we end our proof here. As mentioned, for some, you might want not to reach or to pass through this, but I'm just showing this because this is on measurement, not congruence. After that, we can now say that arc AB is congruent to arc CD. And this is by, okay, by um, definition of congruent arcs. Okay, so we have now shown that this is true given these statements and proof. Again, for some, you might want not to include 5 to 7, simply jump to this too. But since this is on measurement, so we need to include that. This is not a proof for the scored arcs theorem. Take note, it uses the proof of the previous theorem. So it's very important to prove these theorems as this will be used on another situation. Chord arcs theorem tells us that if two chords in a circle are congruent, then their intercepted arcs are also congruent.